Welcome back again to Bent Out of Shape, your do-it-yourself metal art resource. Today we are going to make this owl. I have a couple things prepped, but for the most part we're going to be doing it from scratch. Um, I've got some feet, I've got some legs, I've got some eyes, got a little dressing for eyelashes, um, a beak is a rake tine. That was an extra time when I cut a rake in half sometimes. There's an odd number. Well, this is the odd number. And then a rake rake, metal uh, leaf rake that we're going to cut in half. I'm going to show you how to do that and keep it intact so we have two halves of the wings. Um, shovel for the body, saw blade for the face. So, little flat stock, and we are good to go. Sue's behind the camera, uh, a new vantage point today. Hopefully it picks me up a little bit better. So if you like our content today, give us a like, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, please. And we'll keep doing this. So what we're gonna do is make this in this episode and then we're gonna do another episode on painting it because that's gonna take a little time too. So when, are you ready, Sue? Cause we're gonna go for it. All right. Got my helmet handy. So the first thing we're going to do is get these wings prepped. So I'm just going to set some of this stuff to the side. What will happen is if I cut this in half, the, the tines will literally fall apart. So this is now taken apart with a couple bolts, throw the handle away, you get to this point. I'm going to weld these together a little bit, then I'm going to finish cutting it in half. Then you'll have two nice half wings. So bear with me, this is powder coated or coated somehow and it doesn't weld the best. So if I swear a little, don't get mad. No, I won't swear. We're okay. I'm going to turn my fan on to get rid of some of them fumes, so it's going to get loud. You're on fire. Just paint. If there was a way to get rid of that paint in there, I would do it, but you can't get in there. This one's 
one's got a diamond knockout. So when you weld that thing on there, you want to make sure you weld the diamond knockout or the blade could potentially fall right off. And then they typically got another hole here. So you can't even what I'm going to do with the eye. I try to hide the hole. If you see, it, there's a hole right here that I hit there. So we're going to do the same thing. Put that there. I'm going to weld this on. position our eyes. And when I take one of these spring, this is off, it's a spring tooth deal. There's a right and a left when you cut it in half. So it creates some symmetry when you do that. And then I'm probably going to weld the nose on first or the beak. Put the beak on first. Then I'll put those on just nice to see how it's all going to fit together. When you're doing something like this, there's so many different alloys. These springs are, you know, the rake, the saw blade, the shelf. It's so many different alloys. So they're going to weld a little weird. If something happens to break off on you, it's not the end of the world. Don't panic. Just weld it back on.
this is where hiding that hole comes into play. If you, if you don't position that hole, all of a sudden it could be down here somewhere. It just looks like you didn't put enough thought into it. So. Now I was going to do something a little different here. You see here I had little curly cues for the eyes. I'm going to do these. So bear with me. I think it's going to have a little different look. Oops, so much for that one. This is just a detail that you can go with or without. When you use twisted wire, just add something sometimes. In. This is what catches the caulk and the glass eye. So, show it to us. what's that? Show us what you have in your hand. Well, it's a it's a little press dome, and then I put the caulk in there and a the glass eye. But in this situation, I think I'm going to have to use a little magnets if I can find my little magnet. Here you go. Can't seem to hold it decent. So we're gonna go like this. Hopefully it stays there like it's supposed to. No. Okay. We're gonna do it different. I'm gonna tack a nail onto it and break it off. It's gonna be easy. And you won't see that later because it gets caught in there. It's caught and painted. We're going to tap that down slightly. for the eyes. Then I was going to do one more trick here. Uh, I need my cutter. Where did that go? Let's use this one. So I was going to put some extra feathers in there. be good. So we're going to do it then is bend them slightly. Two of them. One straight up and down. Let's 
tell people, there is really no right or wrong. It's metal art. This thing is not going to fly away. It's whatever you want to do to give it the look you want. So right now, this is what we got. And it will look like that after it's all painted up. So now we got to get the feet put together. I'm going to just set this back here. I always like to tack two of the toes together to keep, kind of keep it intact. And now, these are the legs. So what I'll do is I'll weld those on, and then I'll flip this thing over and get good weld on the bottom before we, before we put it to the shovel. This is one inch rebar. It's a little mean. You can use anything. You see this is just twisted iron. Whatever I have laying around, that's what we're using. So now Ginger can bust that off. Go like Let's go like this. Weld that on good. stay standing. Now we're gonna weld that just like that. So I gotta grind a little bit of paint off the back. Grind a little paint off the back. is one of those situations where you tack it, if you don't like the way it looks, bust it off and do it again. I do believe that's gonna, that's gonna be okay. It's straight across. Paint makes for some good welding. There. Just a touch up with the sander. Is ready. I may wipe down before we paint it, but for this episode, this is what you got. I'm gonna let it cool, wipe it down a little bit, and then the next episode we're gonna film right away this morning will be painting it to get it to look like that. So, again, if you like what you saw here, you like the content, um, if you have any comments, don't hesitate to ask a question. We'll get back to you. But um, this is what built Bent Out of Shape. Items like this. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to that channel. You'll know we're getting you know, content like this all the time. So thanks again.